think it's important for us to support each other. So enough of that. Hello lovely friends, welcome back to my channel. This is probably the 12th time that I film this because we are undergoing renovations and you will notice that my setting is different. That is because it's very noisy as we undergo these renovations and this is a cement barrier room. It's kind of a little awkward the room that I'm filming in because I'll tell you it is my bathroom but I'm hoping that you will like the nice marble. <laughs> it's not marble, it's like a looks like marble type of effect. So anyway, I wanted to say thank you to my returning subscribers. I love you so much. If you are new here, I would love that you join this community of women who enjoy homemaking, activating their femininity, seeking to become a high value woman throughout their life, and basically looking to live or support people who believe in things that might be a little bit against the societal grain. If you are a man, of course, you can also like my channel and support this movement. I would so, so appreciate it. Today, we are going to talk about a topic that is a request from a viewer who reached out to me asking me to incorporate more of my actual lived experience with the topics that I touch on in my videos. So if you watch my video on activating your femininity, I will link it above and below you know that I experienced burnout. So a few years ago, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, and I am so passionate about helping other women deal with their mental health because you can even Google this, two in five women in this entire world are going to deal with a mental health issue. For me, this wasn't just a, oh, poor white girl who has everything you'll get over it. This was really a, no, I'm on the hospital floor and I don't know what is going on with me type of issue. This was a multi-step rehabilitation that took me a few years. Things that I was dealing with were not just this made up, I feel stressed once in a while situation. If you know me personally, you know that I love psychology, I love science, I have science background. And as I was researching, the topic of this video to confirm if some of the things that I were thinking about were actually real, I stumbled upon a few studies and they had to do with ambiance and they also had to do with cleaning. One of the studies talked about cleaning rat cages and how the rats who had cleaner cages actually show increased happiness and stimulation. And I also came across another one that had to deal with the dentist offices and pleasant smells, changing the experience and the, reducing the stress level for women who were patients in that particular office. There are so many scientific studies. You don't need to own a library membership or a university card to access these. You can go on Google Scholar and if you read the abstract of the studies, it's usually enough to give you information about what happened in the study. So what I discovered as I was going through this type of treatment a few years ago is that it really helped me. A type of adjuvant, adjuvant, adjuvant therapy to incorporate homemaking skills in terms of cleaning to help me get a hold of my anxiety. And I really believe that this is the continuous constant in my daily routine that prevents me from getting back to that negative place. I wanted to tell you that before we proceed, you are a homemaker regardless of your job situation or your age. If you have a space, whether it be a room, it doesn't have to be a home, that you are responsible for or that you live in, that you personalize, you are a homemaker and cleaning that space can help you. For those of you who aren't going through a mental health issue, this is also important because as we know, life is so difficult. There are things that pop up that we could never imagine, tragedies and circumstances that we always don't think that we can get through, but you can get through it. I promise you, you can get through it. And something that can help that you can do every single day in your life is to take care of your space. The physical act of cleaning something is also going to release endorphins through the action of moving. When you are suffering from stress or a mental health disorder, you oftentimes just wallow away and you don't get moving. When you are moving for a purpose, to accomplish a task, to clean something, you are doing two things at one time. You are exercising, believe it or not, and you are also working on something tangible that you will have to reflect on at the end of the day. 
you are also learning the process of mindfulness because cleaning something is very difficult to do if your mind is elsewhere. You can't always multitask when you are cleaning things. You need to be present in the moment because you need to do that thing. The first point that I want to bring up is that it will help you form habits. If you were dealing with a hard time or a mental health issue, it is especially difficult for you to get out of that funk and do simple tasks every day. By pushing yourself into cleaning at least one thing per day, you will begin to exercise that form of self-control that will over time become habit and will not be exerting your willpower and you will begin to feel the satisfaction of beginning a task from start to finish. I really encourage you to go listen to my video on forming habits and homemaking. I will link that above and below and I'll see you there. Cleaning will help you step away from your problems, step away from the things that are tormenting your mind, and get into the practice of living in the moment because you will be forced to do so since you are working on something with your hands. Now speaking about starting and finishing a task, cleaning will help you exert control in your life. When your head is filled with thoughts that you cannot control, it feels like everything in your life is a tornado. By being able to break it down and take a simple thing, exert control on it and have the satisfaction of it being accomplished is going to help bring you out of that funk and build some sort of self-esteem through little, little victories that will produce those happy hormones even for a fleeting second. Cleaning using the smells and all of those extra fun things, rearranging a space if you really get into the momentum, is also going to create an ambiance that is a reflection of you, that is a reflection of your identity. You are going to create this welcoming space that is going to help you feel at ease. Have a chaotic space is a reflection of the way that your mind perhaps is. If you want to change your mind, sometimes you need to change the things that you are consuming, which has to deal with the things that you are seeing. If you are seeing an unclean and cluttered space, you are communicating to yourself that you believe that you are not good enough and that your mind is so jumbled and irreparable. I'm going to make this very simple for you and I'm also going to list this on my blog where you can go see a summary. I want you to begin with three small things that you can clean in your house. These three things need to take less than five minutes. So in total every day you will be spending 15 minutes cleaning your house. These small things could be cleaning your counter, vacuuming your most used space. They could mean cleaning the toilet, cleaning a mirror, or shining your sink. The reason why we are choosing three things that take five minutes is because when you are suffering from mental health issues, you cannot take on too much stimulus every single day due to the constant stimulus in your I also recommend that you write down these three things on a piece of paper somewhere where you can see it when you wake up. I like to put mine on my handy dandy notebook that I put right next to the coffee machine and I want you to plan those three things out the night before. Preferably these three things will be things that you do for perhaps one whole week at a time so that you don't beat yourself up if you missed one day because you know you will be doing the next day. Rewrite these things every single day because we know that when we write things down it helps communicate to our mind that we are solidifying that task and that goal. The ultimate purpose is you want to create small goals that build up to a bigger goal. When you're choosing these three things I want you to try to choose noticeable things. For example, in your bathroom, when somebody walks into your bathroom, they are going to notice your sink and your mirror. If your mirror has fingerprints and dust all over it, you are going to notice that, not just anybody who walks into your house. So what I want you to do is to choose those three things. People are going to notice less if there's grime in the corner of your shower. Now I know what you're thinking. If I'm only doing three tasks a day, how am I going to clean the rest of my house? What I would recommend is that if you can afford it, to hire somebody to come in and do a one over on your whole house so that it can reset and you can take it from there from a fresh start. If you cannot do this, I recommend that you either just 
live through it as you're tackling three new things a week, or you ask for help from somebody to come in, some whether it be your family member, your friend, and you can promise them later that you will help them do the same in their house once you are on your feet and have them help you just thoroughly do one over of your whole house. Now, once you have mastered these three things, you can add a bonus task per day. So 15 minutes, three times five, plus an extra five minutes where you tackle a bigger chore. For example, cleaning out the closet in your guest room. I would not recommend that you do this initially. I would recommend that perhaps you do this after at least one, two weeks, or even a month go slowly with yourself. You need to have at least one full week where you are accomplishing those three tasks. Let me give you an example of my actual routine for this week. So I always vacuum my floors. I always have to mop the areas that have the most traffic. So that's one, two. My third thing is I always wipe down the kitchen counters because I love the smell of my product. Again, creating ambiance. And my bonus goal for this week is to get my kitchen in a pristine condition. So my bonus task for today is to clean out the cupboard above my fridge. My bonus task for tomorrow, because I've already planned it out, we are a day ahead, is I am going to clean my oven. The day after that, I've already thought about it, but you don't have to be that proactive, is I want to wipe down the outside of my cabinet. I also recommend that before you begin cleaning, you do something that activates that routine in your daily life, that symbolizes and communicates to your brain that you are about to begin cleaning. That could be something preferably that increases the ambiance, that elevates the ambiance of your house. So whether it is putting in some essential oils putting on some music. I would suggest classical music. You can go on Spotify. One of my favorite playlists is uh, classical music for reading. Over time, you could perhaps change this to a podcast. I would not recommend using a podcast initially because that is too much stimuli. You need something in the background that subconsciously communicates that you are ready to clean, but not something that is going to be distracting. Our entire goal is to calm the mind, to take the mind out of its thoughts. And when you are listening to a podcast, although I do that right now and I love that, when you are beginning to work through cleaning your house with a mental health issue or in a period of high stress, you need to focus on that action to serve you as a type of me time, a type of actual self-care time. There are so many extra things that I could say, but I wanted to end the video here and you can tell me what your suggestions are. I would so appreciate it if you could subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram, and follow my blog where you can find all of the details to this video. I would very, very much appreciate it. And I hope to see you all again soon in my next video.